Lucid Motors is a private company that plans to go public with the help of Churchill Investment Corp IV in a few days. This will be done after voting of the Lucid Motors shareholders on July 22nd. Even though there is an advanced unanimous agreement among the shareholders, the possibility of the votes coming against the decision is still there. What will happen if the majority of shareholders vote no in the meeting? Which company will it affect the most? Lucid Motors or CCIV? Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, the channel that has all the updates on EV stocks. Subscribing is free and liking the video helps to boost the algorithm. Feel free to express yourself in the comment section. Today, we will dive into the well-known and much bespoken upcoming merger. Is there still a possibility that the merger won't go through? And if so, what are the consequences and how will Lucid move forward? Let's find out in today's video. As all our videos, this one also has timestamps in the description, which allows you to navigate at your own pace. First, let's take a look at what is the actual decision that will be taken by the stockholders. It will be an Article 3A that will state whether to approve an increase of all classes of the capital stock's authorized shares from the previous number of 501 million to a new number of 15 billion 10 million shares. It will consist of an increase in the CCIV Class A common stocks from 400 million shares to 15 billion. Secondly, the CCIV preferred stocks will increase from 1 million to 10 million. The board members will get to choose either to go for it, against, or abstain. For those not much familiar with the technicalities of these terms, authorized shares are the total amount of shares that a company would be authorized to issue throughout the period of its lifetime. On the other hand, the outstanding shares are a portion of the authorized shares that get given to a shareholder. This may be at any point in time. CCIV is a publicly traded company that has a total of 258 million assigned and outstanding shares out of a total of 500 million authorized shares. To issue 1.175 billion shares to Lucid Motor shareholders and 166 million pipe shares, CCIV has to take to authorized share number up. This will be done as a result of the board voting in favor of the merger on 22nd July. In case of no merger decision, CCIV is a publicly traded company while Lucid Motors is a private company. It means that CCIV, being a public company, has to issue shares that will go to the Lucid shareholders and the transaction will get completed. Once the merger is done, the total shares outstanding number will go to 1.6 billion. It will translate into 13.4 billion remaining authorized shares as 1.6 billion will be taken out of the total 15 billion shares. These 15 billion are the total number of shares that can be authorized throughout the life of the company. Even though it is an ongoing concern with an indefinite time period of life that can range more than a century. Having an infinite life does not mean that a business can or should issue billions of shares without any proper strategy and result in a dilution of the shareholders and their investments. An example of this dilution is that if the price of Lucid shares falls by $1, its largest shareholder will be losing $1 billion. That is the public investment fund as it has such a huge stake in the company. If the merger does not occur, Lucid Motors will have lots of difficulty shortly. It has a capital amount of 4.5 billion US dollars at the moment that will be sufficient for the company to go towards the early times of the year 2023. But that is where the hardships will begin. Then the company will need a sum of 5 billion US dollars in order to continue its operations and move towards becoming profitable. Only then will the company show a positive cash flow. There are, however, several possibilities for the company to opt for it if it does not decide to go to the merger. In the early days of 2023, when Lucid requires a capital of 5 billion US dollars to keep operational and its stock is valued at 50 US dollars, it can decide to issue 100 million shares. This will be done after considering both debt and equity options for staying afloat, which will also look at the capital structure and cost of capital. The issuance of 100 million shares will also require additional insurance and approval of the majority of shareholders. It will result in a reduced authorized shares capacity of 13.3 billion as another 0.1 billion will be taken out of the already 13.4. The delusion effect of all of this will only be around 5 to 6% on paper, but not in reality. The effect would be from 10 to 15% as the market may overreact and send the price of the shares down from $50 to around 30 to 40 US dollars a share. Another future speculation can also be made regarding this scenario. Let us suppose that Lucent Motors has a sum of $200 billion cash in 2030 and the price of the stocks is at 200 US dollars a share. It will translate into a 340 billion US dollar market cap if we multiply 200 with the 1.7 billion issued shares. If Lucid Management decides to raise the price of its shares, it can go for two options. One is to issue dividends to the shareholders, and the other is to repurchase stocks in order to reduce the number of shares issued. 
Once the voting is done and one idea is chosen, things will proceed. Let us suppose that the decision is to repurchase the stocks. Lucid Motors will pay 100 billion US dollars from its capital in order to buy 500 million shares at a price of 200 US dollars a share. This will result in the issued share count being reduced to 1.2 billion from 1.7 billion and a reduced capital of 100 billion dollars. However, these retired shares will not be able to resell these shares at any time again. These will be of no use to anyone. The outstanding shares will be at 1.2 billion, while the remaining authorized shares will still be at 13.3 billion. Importance of Merger and Prospects Lucid Motors is in dire need of the capital that will come as a result of the merger. So it is pretty much obvious that the merger will go through. It will be decided in a shareholders meeting to officially commence the merger. Lucid Motors will have a lot of support from the public investment fund, but that will only last for a limited amount of time. Further capital needs will be fulfilled through the merger. Even though the PIF would potentially provide Lucid Motors with a production facility in the Middle East, it will take a long time to happen. Till then, Lucid Motors will have to operate on the funds acquired through the merger. Summary Even though all odds are in the favor of the merger between Lucid and CCIV, there is still the possibility that sufficient votes may not come in favor of the merger. Stockholders will have to decide whether to increase the capital stocks from 501 million to 15 billion 10 million shares. That will result in an increase of the CCIV common stocks to 15 billion from 400 million and also the preferred stocks to 10 million from 1 million. All the decisions have been made very precisely as the number of authorized shares is limited even though the life of the business is not limited. The decision will take the authorized shares remaining countdown from 13.4 billion as 1.6 billion shares will be issued after the merger. Lucid Motors is a private company unlike CCIV and it has to get shares issued by CCIV in order to complete the transaction. There are a number of possibilities that arise from the decision for the years to come. One checkpoint will be the early times of 2023 when the company needs capital to continue operations, and the next one will be after a few years when Lucid has a huge chunk of cash at hand. Mario believes Lucid is a very risky investment at this point. He is waiting until production has started. What are your thoughts on the merger? Will it be a win-win situation for everyone, or will there be some losers in this whole merger? Let us know in the comments down below. Before we close off, don't forget that subscribing is free and can be reversed at any given moment. Liking helps boost the algorithm and comments are simply loved by us. Thanks for watching.